can make it quick. I'm on a tight schedule. Yeah, you were busy smoking that cigarette or something? I know a lot of places opened up when they got the hydroponics bay working, but that's hardly the start of it all, is it? Actually, Vera Weatherly might know more. She's always here and talking with folks, so if anyone's picked up a story or two, it'd be her. Oh, I think Vera Weatherly is the one that's related to the kid from Grey Ditch with the giant ants. I could wake all these people up. Hey, I want to find out about the history of Rivet City. Hey. Hey. Whoa. What's the rush, dude? Lady, I only just got here myself. Ain't nothing I could tell you. Okay, sorry. Go back to sleep. Good night. Later, dude. The shop's closed right now. Is there anything else I can do for you? That's an interesting hat you got there. Oh, I really wouldn't know. I mean, long as I can remember, she's just been here, soaking up all the repairs and attention we can give her. I grabbed a wrench and joined in the reconstruction pretty much first thing out of the womb. But I never really cared about the politics. Oh. Completed. Learn the history of Rivet City. Check other sources to confirm Rivet City's history. Return to Myra. Last feller I remember from back then was Mr. Pinkerton. And he must have left about a decade ago. After that spat with the science team. He used to have a storage shed in the broken off bow of the ship. We always thought he was crazy for keeping stuff there. Might have kept a couple records down there, I guess. Careful, though. Ship's a bit treacherous down there in her belly. Uh, okay. What can you tell me about the reconstruction? Oh, well, the old girl had seen a lot of damage, especially where the mire lurks used to nest, and where the super mutants kept trying to get in. I guess the mutants and the Myers got so busy fighting each other, it gave us the time we needed to make this place shipshape. Does that tell you what you need to know? Anyway, we're here in Rivet City, and she's in good hands now. All right. Oh, right. I sort of lose track of time talking about the old girl. See you later. Any trouble in this area? No, nope, I'm good. <coughs> Oh, this guy's Bannon. Okay. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I am Bannon, proprietor and city council member. I carry discriminating attire for discriminating customers. I see you are also a person of refinement. Between you and me, keeping out the riffraff is good for business. And yet, here I am. Can I ask you about Rivet City's history? Why, I practically set this whole place up. When I got here 12 years ago, it was just a handful of dead-enders squatting in a rusted-out rowboat. Now I'm on the council, and with my leadership, we're the strongest settlement in the Wastes. Of course, a few of those dead-enders still stick around, but who'd want to leave? Hasn't Rivet City been around for longer than 12 years? Well, yes, but it was hardly any place of importance until I arrived on the scene. Oh, That's wow, all ancient history now. Himself. No one would ever care about it. I care. If you insist on wasting your time on that, you could try that bartending old crone down below, Belle Bonnie. So you're on the city council, huh? Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be very influential, if you know what I mean. Far more than Seagrave Holmes. Okay. I don't give a shit. Don't want to get mixed up in politics, eh? Don't blame you. Straight to the point. I like that. All right. What's he got? A dirty Chinese jumpsuit. That's interesting. I don't think I've seen that before. And a red racer jumpsuit. And a Robco jumpsuit. Huh. Sexy sleepwear. Yeah, see what that looks like? On the little icon there? The little uh, vault boy? That's what it looks like when a dude wears it. So when I put it on, because I'm a female character, it's a little teddy, it's a little lingerie, a negligee, right? But when a dude puts it on, it's a full set of like silk pajamas. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's not fair. It should either be silk pajamas for both or it should be like, you know, a little banana hammock or something for the dudes. I don't know, I'm just saying, just saying. 
Uh, it hasn't really been a pleasure, but thanks, Mr. Bannon. Come back soon. Closing kind of, you're time. You're kind of an arrogant jerk. You did a good thing delivering that component to Zimmer. Oh, telling this him was the, the railroad was lady. For that, I'm going to entrust you with some information. Okay. The android's transformation was done by a man named Pinkerton here in Rivet City. He's hidden down in the broken fore section of the ship. You'll need to swim to reach him. But if you're inclined, Pinkerton can perform a facial reconstruction on you as well. It won't disguise your identity, but you'll be able to experience life in a new skin and truly understand that we're all human on the inside. Okay, thanks. I guess. That's the second time somebody's mentioned this Pinkerton person. Vera! Oh, look, oh, there's hey Brian! There. Checking up on me or something? How are you getting along now that you've left Grey Ditch behind? Oh, Vera's the nicest lady ever. It's so cool that you brought me here. I mean, she makes me do stuff, like clean up her hotel and all that, but she really cares about me. Plus, I found some friends here in Rivet City, too. All thanks to you. Oh, yay! I'm so glad you're doing well, Brian. See you, lady. Bye. Welcome back, ma'am. Do you know anything about Rivet City's history? Well, I could tell you all about my hotel. But I'm sure I don't know anything about how Rivet City itself got started. I mean, you hear rumors and you make guesses, but I really couldn't say I know for sure. And I'd hate to lead you down the wrong path. Um, could you at least tell me what you've heard? Well, if it'll help, I once heard that this place was covered in Myrlurks 50 years ago, waiting all around the city. Eventually, some poor soul they thought would be lunch fought back and cleared out the whole ship. He set up the city in their place. They say he was the first counselor for the upper deck and lived here to his death. Can't say I believe it a bit, but it's a nice tale to tell. All right, so who knows more about Rivet City? Actually, now that you mention it, Seagrave may know more about it. Well, I've already talked He's to him. He's been here since he was just a boy, and I can't imagine anyone knows this ship better than he does. All right. Bye, Vera. Farewell. That wasn't really very helpful. Hello? Are you Bell Bonnie? Can you spare me? No, nope. you're we've had enough. Trini. You want... Shit. Just what this hole needs. Another woman. Either buy me a drink or take your skanky ass somewhere else. Oh, you're a ray of sunshine. Sure, here's five caps. I guess you're okay. Thanks for the drink. You're welcome. Could I ask you about Rivet City's history? Can't help you with the history, honey. Okay, well then enjoy your drink. Don't let me stop you. Is this Bell Bonnie? Yes, it what is. What the hell do you want? Uh, do you have any stories about this place's history? History? What, not enough shit around here already? You need to dig up more? Don't know if it ever had an official start. It's just been here forever. Stuck in the river and full of assholes. I bet someone like you hears lots of stories. Can you share one? No, I can't fucking well share one. What sort of moron are you? But fine. If it'll get you out of my face, go down to Pinkerton's shed in the broken off bow of the ship. If he decides to give you a history lesson, it's no business of mine. Now get the hell out of my bar. Hey, lady, come on. I was buying Trini some drinks. Don't you want my caps? What the hell do you want? Uh, nothing, I guess. I'll okay. be right here when you get thirsty. I thought you were throwing me out. Make up your mind. All right, so we got to go uncover the rest of Rivet City's true history by going into Pinkerton's lab. How the hell do we get to Pinkerton's lab? 